everyone, Susli Gaming here. Today we're gonna reveal Class 3P, aka Bismarck. It's a winter operation event vehicle and you can get it with 10 tanker stars. It's not premium, when you unlock it, you have to grind the modifications for it as well. So it's a German 8.7 tank destroyer and it's basically a father of the Ruikat. And in fact, it even looks like a Ruikat, just a bit bigger version of it. This is not a transportation vehicle, that means it has a giant engine and it's designed for armor combat purposes. With the recent hull break update, all combat vehicles start to survive more and same thing goes with the TH-800 as well, which is another name of it by the way. It's basically Roy Cat with the Rotkenfagen's cannon. We have 408 millimeters of penetration. Uh, same reloading time as the most of the combat cars. Third rotation, similar to Type 16's. Our barrel lift speed is similar to the Rotkenfagen. Minus 8 vertical guidance. And also we have top machine gun, 7.62 millimeter browning. This third is covered in space armor by the way, but unfortunately against kinetic rounds it's not helpful. Now you probably think this giant is the slowest combat car, you are wrong. The mobility is equal to the Rui Cats, but it's not fast as Rotkenfagen. Rotkenfagen is still the fastest combat car at this VR. I can easily say it's much better than the striker, the mobility is remarkable. Enemies will not expect you to see so early. On the grassy terrain it goes with 50, on the mud it goes with 30. And about modifications, uh, something weird, TH-800 I have, seems bugged, because I cannot use the rangefinder, I cannot use the improved optics to spot enemies, uh, they're just missing. Not sure if this is a bug, but uh, just warning you. Also 8.7 Germany is a really good PR with high victor rate for them, because it has G91R3. Basically what you're doing, uh, you're spotting enemies at the beginning, killing 3-4, and hop into the G91R3. That's usual gameplay of this VR and it's really effective. If you watch my previous reviews, I already told you sometimes being big makes you much more survivable in this game. This vehicle is so big, but unfortunately components are still sticked up together right under the turret. That's where all the ammunition is packed. Wish they would have spread this ammunition inside this massive beast then it would have been much more survivable. But for now, crew in the turret and ammunition all packed up together like can of sardines. That's how you kill this tank, by shooting right under the turret when it's facing towards you sideway or frontally. But other than that, if they don't know where to shoot, this tank can take lots of shots. Only if they're shooting at you with the dart round or sabots, because they don't have any explosive inside the shell. Uh, artillery, still your number one enemy. Not even talking about plane strike because the size of this vehicle planes and helicopters can notice you much more easily so if you're a Ratkenfagen user and you're satisfied with your victory rate effectiveness I will say probably sell it if you hate to be getting up tier to 10.0 keep this tank it's a good tank playable it feels comfortable in every map feels comfortable in city maps as well mobility wise you're gonna pass every MBT in your team it is unique by its size as well. If there was no Rotkenfagen in game, I would have probably tell keep it, but we have Rotkenfagen. So performance wise, it's a good tank. I hope this review helped you to understand this tank. But yeah guys, that's it for today. Enjoy the rest of the clip. See you in next year. Peace out. That should be all workers, I think. G91 time.
Eh, no matter if I'm up. Bean shots. Oh, beautiful reverse speed. Oh, good job, good job, dude. With me. I never thought I would do this in a T55. Uh, there's also something coming from the bridge there. That'll be in B time then. Is there is anything? 